creating a digital human is probably about the most difficult thing you're going to do in visual effects. Uh, human beings have evolved for millions of years to spot the slightest uh, imperfection in a human face to know that, oh, that either someone's lying to you or there's someone sick or there's something you know uncomfortable about it. So to portray it and create something from whole cloth and have it convince the audience that it's a real person is a very difficult thing. Um, there's been, uh, since I got into visual effects 26 years ago, it was something talked about and something that we wanted to do. But the, you know, it took many, many, many steps in building upon successes and failures of the past uh, to arrive where we are today. How do you create young Will Smith? And that really came down to artists at Weta. We took photography of, uh, of Will from, from the, you know, from Bad Boys and from um, Independence Day. And we had, there are artists there who uh, took a scan of him from his current day and kind of reversed the years. Um, they, again, went to science, like how, does, how, do, how do we age and what happens to the, the, the muscles and the, what sags and what doesn't sag and, and, you know, figure that out so that you could reverse it back. This film is being done in a new format. It's called High Frame Rate. Um, it's, it's a, it, we've, there have been some versions of high frame rate in the past, but this one is where you know, the, we've seen 48 frames. This is going all the way to 120, um, and it's native stereo, meaning we shoot two cameras together, and that gives us the ability to see stereo depth. Um, one of the interesting things happened, and what, what Ang felt when we did Life of Pi in 3D, is that there's a, almost an emotional difference in films. When something's 2D, it's like you see it on a wall and it's it's a bit, you know, like watching a poster. Um, but when you look at something in 3D, it's closer to you being there. And suddenly when you're there, when, when it's replicating human vision, things that were used to the graininess of film, the blurriness of motion blur, don't really make sense anymore because you don't see that for real. And when you go to 120, it's actually starting to get closer and closer to a, a feeling that you are in the, mo you're, you're in the space and especially with the 3D. So there's there's so many decisions that were made in this film to, to take advantage of that, to take advantage of this new experience that you, you couldn't see otherwise. Aang is an Academy Award winning director, and what's exciting to work with him is that he's always out there pushing boundaries. He's always looking for how to portray the things he had in his head in, in new and exciting ways. Um, Gemini Man is certainly there to, uh, to do a digital human and to do it with high frame rate and all these details. Uh, it's... For me, I often say it's it's kind of like uh, coming to the edge of a cliff with a sheet and some rope and hoping to make the parachute on the way down. But it's also, if it wasn't something that scared me a bit, it wouldn't be worth doing.